The Alabama Crimson Tide are headed to their first men's Final Four in school history. If you are excited, if you want Bama to continue to stun college basketball, spam RTR for me in the comments section. Let's talk recruiting on today's show. Among the things we'll discuss is this. Bama has locked in a recruiting visit for five-star offensive tackle Andrew Bablola for April 6th. Now, he is a top recruit in the 2025 class, like we mentioned, five-star. One of the later-ranked five-stars, but still 26th overall. Number five-ranked offensive tackle in this upcoming class. And, by the way, is the number one player in the state of Kansas, Always a good thing when you can land the top recruit in most states. Maybe Alaska's different. But anyway, uh, he, by the way, was recruited by Kalen DeBoer at Washington. So again, some overlapped, steady target consistency there. Maybe a better chance to land uh, him at Alabama than it would have been at Washington, but I digress. Now, he is going to first visit Alabama. Er, he will first visit Alabama. That's his first spot. He's, not gonna, he's going to go to other schools. We'll get to here in a little bit, but... Bama gets to make the first impression for him. Here is the upcoming recruiting visit schedule beyond the April 6th visit for Alabama. AM on 413, USC on 418, Stanford on 420. So really wide range of the schools. He's looking at looking at some West Coast programs, Alabama as well. All pretty much top tier recruiting programs as well. Here's what he said about his commitment dates, etc. Quote, I plan to commit after I take my official visits in the summer, but ultimately I'll commit when I feel like the time is right. Most important factors to me are development on and off the field and relationships. I want to be at a school where I can thrive on and off the field and reach my potential. So what do you think is the percent chance that Andrew Babalola ends up committing to Alabama? I say commitment, not necessarily even ends up, but committing to Alabama there. That'll be today's pinned comment, and you should know if you've been subscribed for a long time what that means. It means there's probably going to be an ad here, so ignore it. Nobody cares. Instead, go vote percent chance you think Alabama lands the five-star offensive tackle. Some other news on visits happening today, by the way. Four-star quarterback Matt Zoller's number 104 overall, number two from the state of Pennsylvania, the 10th quarterback uh, in the or way too early composite rankings. Jonas Walton, a four-star offensive uh, back. So running back, excuse me. I'm going to merge overall and running back for some reason. Number eight player from the state of Georgia. And then getting way ahead on it here as well. 2026 wide receiver Jordan Gidron, not yet ranked, by the way. 2027 running back, Quintarius Gibson. So check in again, uh, you know, a year from now and two years from now, and we'll have more information uh, on those players. We won't. You know, we'll focus on 2025 more than anything. Uh, Jackson Lloyd is going to visit starting tomorrow. Uh, he had previously visited Alabama uh, earlier in January after visiting Washington in October of last year. Uh, this is a California offensive lineman just into the top 200, number 21 ranked offensive tackle. Visiting Washington early on, Bama early on. This feels like a key target uh, for Kalen DeBoer. Why exactly 24-7 let his picture be of him with his eyes closed? I don't know. Uh, Micah DeBose next up here, the uh, in-state offensive tackle. Number 68 overall, by the way. Uh, number 8 offense tackle. This is someone who has visited Alabama a lot. Clearly a priority. Going to visit on April 3rd. Visited in September twice last year. June last year and March in 2023. So we're at almost you know, five dates in roughly a calendar year. Despite that, the projections are that LSU end up landing him. Now, maybe the new coach, this will be the first real chance for DeBoer to get to meet him, can help flip the in-state product, not flip, but convince the in-state product to end up at Alabama. But the early buzz is on LSU. The crystal ball projections on 24-7 or 24/7 sports also favoring the Tigers. Now, today's show is made possible by Game Time. If you're a bit anxious about recruiting, it's okay, I get it. You know, it's, a, it's a new regime, new era for the Crimson Tide. You should never have to be anxious, though, about buying tickets to your next event. Whatever that is, Game Time has you covered. It's got all-in prices, so you can see your, uh, your, your total price up front. 
You can already get tickets, by the way, to Alabama football games. You've got Braves games, baseball games as well. And, of course, concert, comedy, theater stuff, etc. on top of that. With zone deals, keep an eye out for the zone deals. You can always find them, but if you do, they're a no-brainer for me. You pick the section, game time picks the seats for big-time savings because who cares if you're in seat seven or seat six? Does it really matter that much? You're in the section. You know where you want to be. It's not going to drastically change your view, although you can see the view from your seat so you know exactly what you're getting uh, before you buy. Download the Game Time app at GameTime.co, create your account, and use promo code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply, but use code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off your first purchase. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. Download Game Time today for last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Back to some more offensive line recruits here. Nick Brooks coming in on April 5th. Uh, listed, so, you know, listed is, you know, an asterisk, but you can kind of tell from the, the photo. Guy looks pretty big, right? Hey, 6'7", 345. Now, who knows? Now, maybe he's only like 6'6", 330, whatever. He looks pretty damn big to me. Uh, visited twice last year. Iowa, he's the number one ranked player in the state, so it would be kind of funny to do it uh, to Iowa. This, I'm going to call it for a third time. Uh, if and when Caden Proctor becomes official, which he can do later on this month. Uh, some upcoming official visits here for Brooks beyond the one he's got to Alabama. Iowa on 621. They've obviously been the top threat uh, from that perspective, so I'll put them first. Georgia uh, on 531. Texas, uh, the 14th. And then USC, the 7th as well. There will be, I think, multiple recruits along the office line of committing to Alabama. Who do you think will be the first one? Caden Proctor does not count. Uh, that's di di different class altogether. But drop that prediction for me in the comments section. Three-star offensive lineman Logan Powell also visiting on April 5th. Number four ranked player out of Arizona. He had been offered at the end of February. USC and Michigan firmly in the mix there as well. Then Lamont Rogers, April 6th, he's coming to town. Number 10 player from the state of Texas. 43rd ranked overall prospect and a high-end four-star recruit. A couple teams to monitor here for Lamont Rogers are LSU, or is LSU. They are firmly in the mix there. Plus some other upcoming official visits. Uh, Missouri, the 31st. A&M next month on the 13th. And Texas uh, on the 14th. So a lot of interest uh, from that perspective for Rogers, which makes sense. He's a top 50 recruit after all. We are 370 subs away from 17 and a half K. Help us get there. If you want more free Alabama football YouTube videos, hit that sub button right now. Another top 300 wide receiver has put Alabama in his top three lists. Quinnell uh, X. Farukin Jr., whose dad is a lot of Houston activism stuff. Uh, unsurprisingly, kind of from Houston area. The top three for him. Alabama. A&M, so a little bit more local there for him, and Nebraska as well. This is a top 300 recruit at wide receiver, 279 overall, 31st, 34th, excuse me, I said almost said 31st, which is just wrong, or I think I actually almost said 34th, which is also not a word. Uh, number 44 player from the state of Texas. He made a comment on Jamarcus Shepard, the wide receivers coach and other assistant duties for Alabama, saying, quote, he's a real dude. He'll look you in the eye and tell you everything you need, even if you don't want to hear it. I feel like I need a coach like that. He gets on to his players. It's like I need that because I need to become the greatest player I can be. I feel like just him getting on to his players like that is, a, is very big in my opinion. First off, love that mindset. I love the guy who wants to be challenged. Even if you're just saying it right publicly, it's a great step, a great first step in the correct direction. Of note, he trains with Jalen Polk, who of course has ties to Kalen DeBoer and his time together with him in Washington. So logical one-two connection uh, from that perspective, I think, does help set up Alabama and have interest there. His plan is to commit before his senior season gets going. So it's, in theory, we know how kids change their minds sometimes, out of the way, not a distraction, not, not a focal point, focused instead on football and having his best senior season possible. So we will have more updates for you on the recruiting side of things overall. Make sure you guys are subscribed.